So as you can see, today I'm going carbless. Uh, almost. I'll have a banana maybe, maybe. So I will try what you asked me to do for the longest time, a keto diet. I don't know if I'll do it consistently, but I'll try today and see what's going on. And what's going on in generally, I'm going up and down. I'm, uh, I lost a, a few pounds uh, from yesterday, but I kind of struggle to maintain the OMAD thing going. I can overeat, but then uh, I compensate by doing OMAD the next day. I drop and I go up and down, up and down. Uh, I didn't uh, gain too much. I still had the 10 pound gain thing since my last low. And my plan is grab uh, each day as I go and try to squeeze the OMAD out of it and, and try to regain the, the groove. Uh, yeah, it's it's not easy to to stop and kind of it is easy to um, to lose the momentum. So if you in the in this kind of a you know uh, inertia of OMAD, don't try not to quit. Don't think that it will be easy to uh, give yourself a break for a for a month and then regain it. It's not, and I experience it right now. But uh, you know what? I'm optimistic. I uh, regain uh, my uh, losses. I gain my uh, wins. It's kind of turbulent, but uh, I, I, I do it day by day. I try to anchor myself. I still do not eat breakfast. I still keep myself hungry. Well, not hungry, but not fed until noon. Uh, so that's kind of cool for me uh, that's what makes me uh, uh, keeps me from uh, gaining too much so when I gain I the, ne the next morning I can uh, rest and then do my OMAD thing OMAD routine and lose my gains what can we do now I live day by day uh, and uh, now is to now is the goal to to try to get to get into OMAD again. I hope uh, you do not struggle as I am. If you do, you're not alone. Uh, I love you all. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.